It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't sit with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. Who you doing? Y'all, we are one more week away from December. It's about to be 2025. Baby, this shit is moving. Do you hear me? Get y'all stuff together, because we got some New Year's resolutions that we got to work on. If y'all didn't finish them this year, then baby, we gotta roll them on over. So shout out to y'all for making it this far. We have one more month. I am so proud of you. Like I always say, you could have given up, you could have threw in the white towel, you could have said, fuck it, crashed out, whatever. But you didn't, and you are still here. So give yourself a pat on the back. Well, I don't wanna hold us too long because it's not a lot to talk about, which is crazy. I think this happens every year around this time when the weather changes. I think the girls are inside. They're like, look, it's cold. We ain't got time. Child, we got to get shit together. New Year's coming up. Christmas presents. Fuck all this mess. So, I'm loving it. Hey, we can run through this shit and keep it moving. But before we get into it, let me give a shout out to my friend. And that is Monet. Hey, bitch. Monet, I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for being the first to comment on my Twitter post. That means so much to me. You have my post notifications on. So, that means you want to know what I need to say. And I greatly appreciate that. So if y'all can go over to her page, give her a retweet, a like, a follow, whatever the case may be. Do that. Y'all connect with each other and let's build as a team because we are the Zone Navy and that's what the Zone Navy do. All right. I love you, friend. Continue to support me and I will continue to support you. Hey, bitch. Well, we gonna skip y'all first part, which is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea and going to get into the docket because we ain't got a whole lot, a whole lot to talk about, but we still gonna talk about what we talking about because you girls love staying in some shit. First of the docket, we have Chriselle. Now, baby, I don't know why y'all acting surprised about that little triple A battery. <laughs> bitch, we been seen that. Y'all don't remember that Ruku remote? I guess because... Y'all then rush over to the OnlyFans when he first dropped it years ago to go peep the scene. <laughs> but bitch, we busy. We busy. Girl, that little chicken nugget ain't been talking about shit for years. I think Queen was really in love. She she had to be. Now, I ain't talking about it because I like a little small pin. I don't really want the big, long pins. You know what I'm saying? Because you can control the men with the little pins. That's why he crashed out the way he did because Queen put it on him. I don't know if y'all heard the myth. Girls make boys and boys make girls. Do with that information as you will. So anyway, Chris has been talked about for the past couple of days because his video got leaked on Twitter. Now, I can't post on Messy Monday for certain reasons, but uh, if you've seen it on Twitter, you've seen it. <laughs> Or did you see it? So, people were talking and talking and talking and talking and talking because Chris always comes out and clocks the teeth. But girl, when this came out, he didn't clock the teeth. On my soul. Do you mean on my soul or where did it go? <laughs> so look, so everybody talking about my, my behind. Chris, okay, but, <laughs> no pun intended, what else were we talking about? Are you sure you on the same topic we was on? Because I don't think anybody really cared about your butt, sweetie. The only people talking about your butt was the sugar foot. Because some women don't care about a big booty. But what they do care about <laughs> is what's popping in the front. And yours wasn't popping. Uh, I used to be self-conscious about my butt. Because... I don't know. It was like one of them things where females used to always tell me, you got a, you got a nice booty. And I used to just be self-conscious, like, why is my, you know? And then, like, when I'm walking, it's like, are you looking at my ass? So I used to be self-conscious, so I posted it on my OF, and it went viral on Twitter, on my soul. Now, um, I'm comfortable with my sexuality, so I don't care. Like, you feel me? Like, 
I didn't, you know, I don't care if I post my, you know, my behind. Like, it's a butt. It's meat. It's just a lot of meat back there. You know, it's just, it's just booty. Y'all, like, y'all don't got no booty. You feel me? It's just butt. And everybody keeps talking about my butt right now. So, uh, that's crazy. Crazy world we live in right now, bro. It's just a booty, y'all. It's literally just a butt. I ain't trying to knock a man down because enough has been knocked down already. But he talking about he's self-conscious with the booty when that's where the wrong self-conscious is at. Now, I... <laughs> talking about I'm secure in my man. <laughs> I'm secure in my manhood. You ain't got a lot of man to be secure in. So you... you... <laughs> You better find some. God done blessed you in all the wrong places. All this acting feminine, he said, well, let me give him, let me give him some ass and a little clip. <laughs> what was it? He was talking about, I got a fat ass, okay, but you got a little penis. Y'all at this point, honey, God can't do a couple of struggles and you need to pick one. A little dick, a big ass, a tiny voice. Y'all at this, at this point, are you a hermaphrodite? <laughs> Claw that teeth. But honey, let me hustle. That's how you know he hurt. Chris know exactly what y'all talking about. How y'all crush a man's self-esteem is when you talk about that penis, honey. And he trying to act like he don't know what y'all talking about, knowing good and damn well ain't nobody, ain't no, nobody worry about that booty. You was trying to dig in them good, but it just wouldn't reach. <laughs> Cause she wasn't making not a nail sound. What was going on when she tied? Now queen, I ain't trying to be messy, but this can't be man that you wrote karma about. I mean, he had you fucked up about what? Messy? What? Now I gotta question you. Um, what's his name? Clarence. <laughs> they say you, you and Chris favor. <laughs> Is this in all areas or what? Because I, I mean, I'm starting to, I'm starting to, I'm starting to question some things. Y'all both built up the same. Y'all both very demure. <laughs> and not only that, now I see why Chris was fucking with Jazz because I mean, he feels as though he ain't got no competition. No, y'all, we gotta be serious. You know when there's a little Lego on the... <laughs> you know when there's a little Lego on the ground and you step on it, that shit costs some, costs some pain. So many. <laughs> so maybe that little Lego be doing, be doing some damage. <laughs> so I guess we gotta let it go. It's not the size of the bowl, it's the motion of the ocean. And he got some waves in the back, so I, I, you know what, fuck it. Chris, how about you give me my phrase and call me back and let me know what's going on with that. Well, all right, child, if it ain't about me, Chris Dick must be French, cause it's speaking wee oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> Next to the duck, we got Plies versus Soulja Boy. <laughs> now, I don't know why Plies came out and did this because Everybody know one thing Soulja gonna do is Soulja Boy is so gonna tell him. So Blaze that came out and he said um he was suing Soulja Boy along with Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla for copyright. Now Megan Thee Stallion and Glorilla didn't respond, but we sure know who did. So this is the beat that is in question about the copyright and fragment. I keep a couple killers around me. Soulja, now, a lot of people are saying, why did Pies wait 10 years later to come out and say this? Well, honey, guess what? The longer you wait, the more money you get. Now, Soldier Boy, anytime somebody come at him, baby, he is quick to respond. But this time, it took him a couple of weeks. But, he responded. They talking about some man, you know Plies on you? Plies, if you don't sit your bro down some what the fuck wrong with your cheap Pretty Boy swag is not your b so you want to wait 10 years to try to sue a nigga for a beat. That is not your beat, crazy man. What the fuck is wrong with you, Plies? Need to change your name to Lies. Because <laughs> you a motherfucking liar. You know that ain't your motherfucking beat, bro. 
What the fuck wrong with you? You should have just said, hey, bro, I'm broke. <laughs> Let me hold something. You plies, you don't sit your bald headed down some. Your motherfucking hairline in the middle of your head. You know, you know the fuck what? Fuck out of here. That beat is all original music. You only can sue somebody if they sample your song and don't get it cleared. That is not a sample, bro. Sit your bro down some. The fuck wrong with you? If you bro, just say that. <laughs> Now, soldier, but look, I I love you down, but one thing you gonna do is, bitch, you gonna pop that tear, you gonna read. But that little fire alarm seatbelt beat, <laughs> girl, it did sound a little similar. I can't lie. But hey, it is what it is. And one thing about you, soldier boy, you will lie to somebody's face and ask them where's the lie. Because this right here is fire. Honey, I don't know, but we gonna see. Plies hasn't responded back to Soulja Boy. I guess he's like, look, I'm too grown. I see you in court. But whatever the case may be, y'all tell me in the comments, do y'all think that he took Plies' beat? Does it sound similar to you guys? Or is Plies reaching? All right, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next on the docket, we have Neek and Lane. So Neek did a YouTube video with some of her friends and in the YouTube video, they asked her a couple of questions and this was one of the questions. Would you beat your, your, your baby daddy, um, baby mama? It's what happened. You, you, you think you could beat her up? Like, do I feel like I could beat? I feel like I can beat anybody. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Is that what that? Like, got me for answers? Do you feel like you could beat Lena? That's her name. Yeah. She, you nasty. And I'm not taking no shots, and yeah, I feel like it's gonna be anybody that's trying to kill you. Period. Now, child, I'm not trying to be the sour one in the patch because I saw everybody saying, well, what was she supposed to say? Was she supposed to say the girl was gonna beat her ass and whoop, whoop, whoop? Well, no, she didn't have to say that, but what she could have done was not answer the question because if the roles were reversed and Lena would have said something like, well, hey, do you think you could beat up King's ex baby mama? And she said, yes, child. Y'all would have a hissy fit, but because it's neat, y'all think it's okay for her to say, yes, well, I ain't nobody gonna beat me up. Yeah, we know ain't nobody gonna say they gonna get their ass beat, but to keep bullshit down, just say, I'm not answering that question. Move on, messy. Because now, if Lena was to respond, y'all gonna jump down her back, but really, she would be in the right. So Lena did respond, but what she did respond was fiance soon to be wife. Now, that was a clock in your face because everybody know that Neek thought that she... Mm -hmm. So I come in, Lena, because we all know that usually she will clap back, she'll make a video, she'll say how she feels, but this time she just ignored it, she moved on, hey, you said what you said, I'm posting this, at the end of the day, it is what it is. So you can't be talking about me because I ain't no baby mama, I'm a fiance, so you must be talking about the mother girls. But what we will talk about is, is Neek really the problem? Find a way. Hey, nothing happened. Y'all not together, no more y'all together. We not together. What happened? So, by the way, you don't want to answer. <laughs> 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 we were not fit for each other. That ain't the question. Yeah, no. bitch, what happened? <laughs> 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 we decided to go oh separate ways. So, by the way, you didn't answer. Just answer it. That's not answer. Because it didn't work with King, now you and Bacon ain't working. Is it because you wanted to be outside and Bacon really wanted to not be no boyfriend material and he wanted to move on to something more serious? I don't know, y'all. Don't get me a lie. This is just word on the curve. The girls is talking, so what y'all think? And then, child, some people are gagging because he got four tattoos of her name on him and she got three, which I don't understand because... Do y'all not know the name? Y'all got amnesia, dementia, whatever the case may be. Why y'all need so many different names on there? <sighs> don't get me that line. But, I don't know. And some folks is like, well, that don't matter. You ain't obligated to say because you get tattoos, which is true. But why did you do that if y'all knew that y'all were in different levels in y'all life? 
some folks on the curb is saying because, you know, he's still dealing with a lot with the passing of his brother and maybe he was, you know, bonding with her trying to find somebody to love because the passing of his brother and she's just not there yet. Like, he want her to be a homebody. She don't want to be a homebody. People say, well, she's a content creator. She got to be outside. But maybe when she not even on the fly, she's outside. And maybe he just want her to now, you know, become wholesome. But she's not ready to be wholesome. And he, you know the fuck what. Bacon. I'm ready. <laughs> but anyway, a lot of them questions, I just want to answer, baby. I would have been drunk off of hot wings and liquor. Hey, don't get me to talk because y'all going to always defend that woman, Miss Neek, baby. But until y'all can see when somebody really is a messy person, it's on you. Alright, well, my goodness, Mr. Marcus, if Lena want to do the job, she want to anybody. Okay, Neek, go back and get your man. Please. This child, this new generation, a lot of y'all women got more bodies than cemeteries. If it ain't about me, let's kiki. Next case. Next to the duck at, we got Queen. <laughs> now, Queen went on TikTok Live and she said she don't know how she ended up accepting somebody on the live because she's never done it before. She was just, you know, real baffled about the situation. <laughs> and this is what happened. I was going to decline it because I was going to go to sleep. Type shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go. I was gonna go to sleep. I'm sorry, I need to accept it. But how are you? I'm all right. You be battling? Battling what? You gonna battle like on TikTok? Rap battle? Oh man, you knew he wasn't talking about no damn rap battle. So if I said this, you know what this is? Oh, I did that to somebody before. Yeah. Exactly. So we can do well, a battle. No, I'm tired though. No, like, ooh, I'm sleepy though. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Then right, that little twinkle in that man, I got you formula, man. That bitch said, oh no, you know, I'm tired. Oh no, no way. <laughs> Girl, I would've been doing the same thing. Bitch, Clarence bags would've been packed. But baby, you done pushed that wedding bag six, <laughs> six more years. You sleep, you that sleepy that you came back. Yeah, I got a kid. I gotta wake up and get to take my kids. How many kids you got? Okay, we're not doing this. I'm, I'm sleepy, okay? I'm sorry. All right, you be safe. Have a good night, okay? You too. How do I get off of here, though? I don't know how to do it. I got you. Okay. Like, are we gonna be are we gonna be mutuals to battle again, or I just catch you when I catch you? You probably gonna have to catch me. Girl, I read that. She said you probably gonna have to catch me. Like, right? Catch me, please, sir. Because at this point, I'm falling. All right. Night. All right. Good night, y'all. I love you guys. Mwah. No, I did it by accident, y'all. Don't do that. Don't be making stuff out of nothing. Don't make some, I, I accidentally accepted that. Don't do that. I'm not trying to get in trouble by my man. Y'all know what's so funny, ladies? She did that high pitch voice. He was asking normal, simple questions. I was gonna decline it because I was, I was gonna go to sleep. Type shit. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to accept it. I'm like tired. You be battling? Battle? Um, I think I've done that before. You trying to battle? What's up with it? No, I don't want to battle. I'm really sleepy right now. I really got to go to bed. I got kids. How many kids you got? <laughs> don't worry about that. No, no, I'm going to go to bed. <coughs> Just <make a> fun <coughs> yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to get out here. Can we do this another time or I'm just gonna have to catch you? When I'm on. Hey, right, how do I turn this off? I got you, sweetie. All right, you got it. Thank you. Let me hush, child. He should have just wanted to show her how to make the mutuals. <laughs> Maybe they could have keep eating cap. All right. Mm. Well, if it ain't about me, let's keep eating. Let's get Next to the docket, we have Catherine and Austin Broom. Now, child, Catherine recently came out with her new man, and child, this motherfucker is fine. I mean, from the face to the body to the tattoos, he looks good. So the world on the dirt is the people is like, well, how did she move on so fast? She just got a divorce, or whatever the case may be. Woo, 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 yeah, 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 but she sure did keep that last name. Well, baby, if that is my social media name, I'm gonna keep it too, just like Tina Turner. Kill Ike Turner. Hit, uh, our kid and wife, she kept that name. Bitch, I'm keeping that name that made me my coin. But that's neither the case, nor here, nor there. 
So people are also mad saying, well, girl, how did she move on so fast? And woo, woo, woo. Girl, she moved on when her man cheated on her about umpteen million times when they were married. So, bitch, I need y'all to shut the fuck up because if my man cheated on me several times while we was married, then yes, I'm mentally now clocked out in the midst of our relationship. But I really even like you no more. I'm just with you. I'm moving through the motions until I get the courage to say, you know what, it's time for me to walk away. But mentally and emotionally, I was already clocked out maybe three months ago. I'm proud of her. She suffered in silence. Now she's being loved out loud. Hello, somebody. So then Austin came out and this is what he had to say. Oh, man. You know, one thing I will say, one thing I will say is that you guys think that I find out the news when you guys find out the news. And that's false. The truth is, I've been known about the news for a while now. Yeah. Been known. Mm-hmm. Little do you guys know, I've actually met him. Yeah, not once, not twice. Did you guys know that? You didn't know that. Uh... <laughs> why be petty? Why, why should anybody be petty in this world, you know? But petty is fun. It is fun. It is entertaining. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Y'all, suspect is gay. <laughs> suspect is a crash out. Suspect is too old to be having a hairstyle like that. Child, hush. Him and his brother are both weird. I don't know what she saw in him when she was dating this man, but baby, it ain't right. Like, I don't even know why you feel it is your need to address her new relationship anyway. And I don't give a fuck if people are harassing you. You don't have to answer to them people. Are they paying your bill and they got a gun to your head? Fuck what they feel and how they feel what you supposed to feel. Fuck them. Child, this is a grown ass man talking about some, it's good to be petty sometimes. Boy, that's why she left you. What? I know hurt when I see hurt, and this man is hurt. <laughs> because your ex-wife is saying that her new man is the most beautiful man that she ever laid eyes on. <laughs> I would be sick. I mean, but look at Austin. He is a little, Austin, you is a little ugly, though. <laughs> well, if it ain't about me, suspect is S-W-E-E. -E. <laughs> Next on the docket, we got Ray versus Jamal Bryant. Now, honey, I don't know how this came about, but the Bible said, touch, not my anointing. So I don't know what Ray J thought he was doing, but y'all already know him and that family. <laughs> ah, stay clear. Yo, I got nothing but love for Pastor Bryant. Shout out to Jamal Bryant. Shout out to Von Alvarez. But if y'all play that interview, Somebody getting snatched off the pulpit. Don't play the interview. It's not clear. It was out of bounds. Me and Pastor Brian need to talk because the way I was why I was treated was 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 dirty and illegal. And I don't like it. And I don't want nobody to play that f interview. I don't care if you're from the church or not. Like like be respectful and do people right. Don't call people out their name and don't make people feel like they're not safe in a place where they thought they were safe. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, we need to work it out. Because if we don't, that's gonna be a problem. Yeah, Ray J. Not you done made a threat to the man of God, right? You ought to be, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Why would you do that? Didn't nobody tell you to sit down and open your mouth and say the things you said? You said those things, and you, how you gonna be mad at somebody for the shit you said? But if you ask me, Jamal Bryant, one thing about it, I'm gonna play that tape because one thing you not gonna do 
is threatening me. I know you won't. But to be honest, this could have been a phone call. Why didn't you call the man? Ray J just be Ray J. But all serious question, Ray J, how can an interview be illegal? Like what? <laughs> For real. Do they do they tie you down? <laughs> <laughs> Hold you against your will, not feed you, give you no water, and just tell you to answer questions against your will. What? Like, how was it illegal? <laughs> what was threatening about it? Did he have police officers standing right there saying, you better answer? I just need, I need to know what happened in that phone. I hope God forgive him for that. Talk about he gonna snatch somebody out the pool, baby. That is some nasty word. So then, after he dropped that, I don't know. I don't know what happened, but then Ray J came out and posted this. It's just tried to shoot me and tried to kill me, nigga. And you want me to apologize, nigga? Fuck you. Now I said, I know Jamal Bryant is in the deacons and the motherboard after him. You got to be kidding me. But like the Bible said, touch not my anointed. So maybe you done threatened the pastor. Now God done spent the block and had the world done come and get you. So see, you gotta be careful who you come at. You can't mess with those that are blessed. But you said you they shot at you and they almost got you, but your sister said almost don't count. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you might well, you might as well shut up. Because if they didn't get you, they didn't get you. I just need to know where is Brandy? Brandy! Please come, come get your brother. He need a juice box and a nap. <laughs> At this point, this man is acting up. So Jamal Bryant, he comes out and then, you know, he makes his statement. Y'all can pause it, whatever the case may be. He just basically says he's not going to drop the um, interview before, you know, editing the things out that Ray J wants gone because what he stands on is brotherhood and he does not want to make another black man look bad. Um, even though they do not do any editing, he would do it for him. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. So then Ray J comes back out and he apologizes. Speaking that kind of language to a pastor is unbelievable. It's uncalled for. It's disrespectful. It's distasteful. It's disgraceful in every sense. Saying I'm gonna snatch somebody off the pulpit and they a pastor is 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 uh, being blasphemy or on that same level, whatever that means. And I was very angry because I'm scared that some of the stuff I said that I wasn't supposed to say could affect me legally and stuff like that. So I just lost it and I shouldn't have said words like that. Um, pray for me. If you would have me at your church next time you are fellowshipping, I would love to come through and, and pray with you in person. Pray with you with the whole church. I apologize to the whole Newburgh. Um, and whenever you are preaching again or whenever I can come through on a positive tip to, to just say I'm sorry personally to you and the church and the fellowship, please have me. <laughs> asking, for, asking for prayer after you just said you was going to snatch your preacher out the pulpit. Oh, baby, you, <laughs> you need to sit down. Now, baby, the word on the curb is <laughs> when you come down from your coat bench and then you realize you <laughs> you don't <done> fucked up. <laughs> and if you ask me, I'm just like, damn, if he doing all this every time he don't get his way or he get into his little brat mode, imagine what Princess had to deal with. I, I would be stressed. But I ain't gonna lie, I do believe that there might be some people after him, not the Deacons. <laughs> But he was in the interview saying that some people were after him. And he might be telling the truth. And he's probably acting like this so these people don't unalive him. That's why he's acting like Orlando Brown. Because Ray J be telling y'all the tea. But because we think that Orlando and him are crazy, they know that people ain't gonna believe him, but some gonna believe him. So it's like we might as well not even kill him because people don't even believe what they're saying. That's why Orlando Brown is here for so long. But mind you, Orlando be talking some real shit. Just like Ray J sometimes. So... Maybe this crazy stage is what they do to keep themselves safe. I don't know, child. Whatever the case may be, put them on hold. <laughs> A maniac home about 48 hours and let them out. If it ain't about me, let's get in this case. 
Next to the docket, we have Scott Jackson and her baby daddy. Now, honey, this was a mess. <laughs> This is a mess. I don't know how Disney went from Disney to the hood, but baby, it happened. So, Sky finally came out and she announced her pregnancy and that, you know, she's very happy about it and she can't wait for her upcoming acting roles and being a mother, woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. So, not too long after she did that, the baby daddy came out on Facebook. <laughs> Mind you, the name is Yerky Yerky. <laughs> Sky, what are you doing, sis? He comes out and he posts, Oh wow, I'm salty, I got this dumb ass Disney Channel bitch pregnant. I'm serious, I hate this hoe. And I'm just like, wait a minute, you know, you talking about Scott? <laughs> Crazy. So then Scott and her mama come out and they say that he didn't do this. Now at this point, I'm like, y'all are goddamn lie. Y'all are goddamn lie. Every time this boy do something, mind you, back on the dock. When they was fighting with each other, mama come out and say, oh, it was nothing, they didn't really do that, and they come to find out they was fighting. Then this time, she say that the, the boy didn't, he got hacked, and he really didn't write that. Girl, that man wrote all that stuff. I don't know why y'all be trying to save face for your daughter. Just tell the truth, say this man is crazy, she fucked up, she thought she was in love, and honey, it's a mess. Hey, on my brother, I know y'all on this bitch being nosy as fuck. On my mama, I don't give a fuck what y'all talk hey. about. On my baby, fuck yeah. these hoes, nigga. On my mama, fuck these hoes. Hey, and we on tour, nigga. Something we getting slayed tour, tonight. Nigga. The boy is a mess and your daughter just went down the wrong yellow brick road, okay? Cause then he come out and this what he say. Boy, you gonna stop doing that girl like that. Girl, y'all talking about doing that like what? I ain't do shit. Man, I'm single. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Baby girl, you ain't know I'm good for domestic violences. On life, we'll both go to jail beating on each other. Smiling my mugshot. God, this a mess. This is a mess. And instead of the mama sitting here trying to correct it, she's standing beside. I mean, I get it. That's your child. You don't want the world to talk about your child. But sometimes you got to put your foot down and say, baby, look, there's only so much I can do until you start making me look stupid. This is just secondhand embarrassment. Y'all try to defend this man. But now this young man don't give a fuck about how he make y'all look. Oh, he was hat. Oh, look, I'm domestic violence. And baby girl, I go to jail behind that. So y'all really was fighting on the dog. So not too long after that, this man, <laughs> oh my Jesus. This man had an altercation with the police in Ohio. In the midst of them trying to, you know, question him and arrest him, he take off. <laughs> this man, this man take off running. Why running? <laughs> Should have known he was gonna fall. You know, every white person falls in media in movie. <laughs> he damn near looked like this man fall. They arrest him now. <laughs> he going to jail. Sky, what are you doing? She was pen pals <laughs> with this guy while he was locked up. Pen pals, Scott. <laughs> she was pen pals with this guy while he was locked up, allegedly. They fell in love with each other through, I guess, communicating. Girl, this man was giving you this man was giving you prison bars, girl. <laughs> ah, Scott was so sheltered she did not know. Scott, <laughs> Scott pimp out this man, wrote him, fell in love, got out. 
this man was pursuing a life with Sky that he knew he really didn't want to be with. And this man was locked up. Oh, if you look at it, they say he got not one, not two, but three baby mamas. I think Sky gonna make number four, bitch. You know the fuck, but. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You might as well buckle up. <laughs> This is gonna be a, a long ride, sweetie. And I don't even think them baby mamas got the money you got, so he's gonna damn sure try not to lose you. But what's gonna happen is he gonna take you on a roller coaster of emotions while dealing with you until you decide to walk away. So it's up on you, baby. You and mom gonna keep defending him, or you gonna walk on like Catherine did and like Carmen did. All right. Well. It ain't about me. Let's get keeping it. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I got for Messy Monday. I know it wasn't a lot going on, but just hold on. It'll get hot again outside, and the girls, trust me, will be outside waiting the New Year's. Okay. Like I always tell y'all, y'all stay messy, and I will see you next Monday. Next okay. Whole lot of going on, it's a whole lot of lot of going on, it's a whole lot of lot of going on, it's a whole lot of lot of going on.